in VS Code we can fold and unfold certain regions. I have a keyboard shortcut assigned to the folding action, which is command opening square bracket in my case. But as we're gonna navigate up and down by using Vim motion keys, when we're gonna cross these folded regions, they will be automatically opened, which is not the behavior I like. So let's try to fix this in this lesson. Thankfully, it is pretty easy to fix. We just have to add a couple of additional bindings in Vim configuration file. Let's add them right here and say that these bindings will be responsible for skipping folded regions. Both of these bindings will only work in the normal mode. The first one will remap sequence of keys G and J. It will simply act as a K key. In my case, the K key is responsible to navigate down. And another mapping is pretty similar. Here we're saying that the sequence of letters G and K will be used when we're gonna press key L. In my case, key L is used to navigate up. I'm using K and L keys in here because I have redefined default motion keys. But if you haven't redefined any default motion keys, you would have to use in here J and K like so. Let's also mention in here that the first command is responsible for navigating down and the second one for navigating up. Next, by default, default Vim clipboard is not in sync with the system clipboard. And that means if I'm going to copy anything by using Vim shortcuts. For example, let's copy this line by pressing YY. And then if I'm gonna open up any other application, for example, terminal, and try to paste text from the standard clipboard, as we can see, we didn't get that text we have just copied from Vim. And in the same way, if I'll try to copy anything outside of VS Code and paste it in VS Code by using default Vim key to paste, which is P. In this case, we also do not get the text, we have just copied. So I'm going to sync system clipboard with the Vim clipboard by adding another setting right here. The setting that we need in this case is called clipboard. And we have to assign value unnamed plus like this, which is going to sync system clipboard with the Vim clipboard. So after reloading VS Code, let's once again copy the current line by pressing YY and then paste this line in the terminal. And this time we got the copied line. And vice versa, if we're gonna copy this word code by pressing Command C and paste it inside VS Code by using P, we got the copied text. So the system clipboard is now in sync with Vim clipboard. The next thing we're going to do is to configure the search which is used in Vim. To open up the search, we can press slash and now let's try to find word clipboard. As we can see, the search found only two matches and it didn't include the second clipboard word because that word uses capital letter, which means by default Vim search is case sensitive, but I would like to use case insensitive search. So I'm going to add another setting, which is ignore case and assign value true, which is going to make the search case insensitive. So now after reloading VS Code, let's search for the word clipboard once again. And this time we have three matches, including the second one, which contains capital letter. But in addition to that, I would like to run case insensitive search if all letters in my search query will be lowercased. But if at least one letter will be uppercased, I would like to run case sensitive search. Currently it doesn't work as we can see if I'm using the first capital letter, it still found all three words. So I'm gonna make it clear what the next setting will be responsible for and say that it is going to disable ignore case option if at least one letter in the search query will be capital. And we're going to use smart case setting and assign value true. And this way, after loading VS Code, if we're gonna try to run the search and use at least one capital letter in our search query, as we can see, the search was case sensitive, hence only one word, clipboard was found that contains capital letter. So that's it for this lesson. Let's continue in the next one.